Hello, I hope you all are having a great Saturday. I'm here today to do a little flip through of um, a little junk journal baby book that I've made for my daughter. Um, I've been meaning to share this for a while, but um, I've been, I would say it's maybe 98% done. I just kind of tinker around, add things here and there. Um, and I thought that maybe you would want to check it out and see kind of um, some ideas of how you could use a, a junk journal to document babies. Um, it is pretty heavy scrapbook style, but loosely. Um, so what I did is I took this, this was an original baby book from the 60s, I believe, and it was just one of those thin um, pack kind of thin maybe half an inch or a quarter of an inch thick and I took the cover off and built um, a new spine and um, added it ring binder style because there were a few things that I wanted to be able to add in so we will take a peek this is a really large oversized book so it's kind of hard to get in the frame of the camera but I'll do my best so this was the original, one of the original pages. Um, it just has a cute little um, quote on the back here. So I, I wanted to keep that there. And I did some collaging on a pocket. And then here, I just kind of documented when we found out that we were um, expecting with Hannah. And um, <clears throat> all of the writing that I've done, the journaling, it's all kind of telling her basically me telling her from my point of view the story so I'm talking to her um, if that makes sense hopefully it does and I just did some tabs and pictures and honestly what I do when I'm making my own journals is I pretty much go through and loosely decorate on the first round like I would if I were making it uh, making a journal for my shop and then I just go back and add my elements and any extra little things that I have left over or I find or think like, oh, I could add that somewhere. Um, this is a book image that I've cut out and added. And then I just have a few ultrasound pictures. Um, I did, you will see a lot of post-it note pieces here because it feels a little weird sharing your personal um, information on the internet. I don't, I don't know why, but it just felt more comfortable for me to cover some things up. So um, you will see these are the original ultrasound pictures that they gave me when we went. I didn't scan them and print them, which I would recommend doing if you want to do this because the ink kind of got on my little embellishments, but it doesn't really bother me. Like it actually is kind of the same blue as this, so it kind of goes together. And then this is a printable from KB and Friends. And if you'll see, I stitched along all of the pictures, most of the pictures in this um, journal, just for some added texture because I like the texture and the layering, but I, I didn't want to add too much bulk. So like there is another piece of um, cardstock behind this photo, behind the photos, a lot of them, but I do think that for some reason it adds a lot of detail to just Add the stitching. I don't know. It didn't take too much time. Um, and then I stitched around all of the cards and, you know, this one just to give it some texture so it doesn't look so flat. And then another thing um, that another tip I wanted to mention is I don't know why I really, if you print the photos in matte, it just, they turn out much better. I don't know. I, I highly recommend printing the photos in, in matte. And even though you can't get them in one hour, if you print them in matte, they just seem to be better quality. And then this is a vintage greeting card. It's like some silky satin here. <clears throat> Another ultrasound. And then this was a little, <clears throat> excuse me, blip it from a vintage book that I liked what it said so I put it there and did some layering with these little these are the little mini doilies that I've said before in my videos work really well for mounting pictures on it just adds a little bit of layer and no bulk at all so here I just have some a pocket and a little embellishment and some more 
little images and I love this one with her little hands over her face and then a little this is part of a guest check that I just wrote on stuck back here and then this is a really pretty um, from a 1940s songbook and it's really pretty so I just added that in there and just put a little um, flip out here and you know mostly for the graphics and then I did try to put a lot of the cards especially from grandparents or like first degree relatives in here which is why I wanted the binder and I tried to put a picture with the person that sent the card um, when she first met them so that, that she could kind of remember that when she's not remember it but you know match the names with people when she's older um and then this was from another baby book I just took this out and wrote her little measurements there and like like all the other journals some fabric ruffles and some trims just different elements to decorate this is just a little sticker and I just took a pen and went around this sticker here. For this, I took her birth certificate and scanned it and shrank it down and then made it into a page in here. And I, I just thought that was cute because I, I didn't want to put her original birth certificate in here. And then I just put a picture again, stitched around it and added it there. And then on the back, I did the same thing with her little feet print, um, her footprint paperwork or little memento that they give you in the hospital. I just did that on the back so it could be a page. And again, I don't have to, I don't know what I will do with the original, but I didn't have to worry about that I was using the original. Here I just um, stapled on her little band that ran around her ankle and some more photos. Like I said, really heavy kind of scrapbook style, but I mean, it's a baby book, so it's kind of lending itself to that. And then this was my printout for all my last appointments before she was born. And then here, these were the pictures from the hospital that we had taken. And I wrote all on the back about going into labor with her and the story behind that. These were some flowers that were sent to us. And we had sushi sent to us. Um, when the baby was first born. This is just an envelope and yes, I did. <laughs> I did go through labor with her with a mask on. My husband took a picture of the room number. So I just took, um, took that and cut it out and made it into a little tab. Just some more journaling, more pictures of in the hospital. And then um, I continued writing my note to her. I think this was the story about going into labor. It was quite an interesting story. So <laughs> there's a lot to document on that. And then this is a early 1900s um, postcard that I just put a picture on the back of and I thought it was cute because it says a happy birthday um and it was her birthday so I could use that there and then this is a picture of Caitlin they had given her a big sister bracelet and she wasn't able to come into the hospital at all um during that time so my husband took it out to her my mom brought her drove her um up and saw my husband and he gave her that little bracelet that the nurse had given her and then another greeting card and this one I just turned into a pocket I believe yeah and I didn't put anything in this pocket yet but I just like the graphics and it'll be really neat for her to have this and you know if this is let's say from the 1940s or 50s you know this could easily be a hundred years old when she's looking at this so it's something kind of fun and again just pictures again I stitched around them so basically I took a a, a picture and I backed it with some paper and made it into kind of like a journaling card and this is just a little applique that I had another song that I liked the lyrics to and I just put a yo-yo here and that's all I did with that one
So very simple and basic. It doesn't have to be, I probably would have never finished this if I would have made it too complicated because excuse me, it's hard for me to focus on <laughs> one thing for any long amount of time. So, um, and I didn't do this all in one setting. I just, anytime I felt like doing it, I did. And I will post on my Instagram some tips for this because I did write down a few things and I don't know what I did with the piece of paper, so I need to find it. But um, a few tips for this because you definitely have to think about the space you have and how much you want to document what you want to document before you get started because I noticed there were like a dozen pictures that I was thinking oh I really want to include this in my album and I would have used the half the album just you know from hospital pictures so you have to kind of be strategic with what you want to do anyway check my Instagram out and I'll post some tips on that that I learned um, from doing this and other Christmas ones. Um, I have some Halloween personal journals, that kind of thing. So I'll post some tips. Um, another one that comes to mind is not to use glue, to use double-sided tape. So that works best for photos and mounting anything, just anything in the, in the album. I think it works best to do double-sided tape. And then this was her first bath and when they did her footprints, and then I just talked about staying in the hospital, which was pretty uneventful, thankfully. And this hat I'm going to add in here. This was somebody had crocheted this hat for, for the newborns, and I need to add that into the book. So I was just gonna put it through one of the little rings, but, um, and then another card. In the back I made a pocket I mounted it onto some cardstock and made a pocket and then this is another printable from KB and friends I just stitched stitched it closed and this was my grandmother wrote a little note to her and I love how it's in her handwriting um, about giving her the silver dollar and the English tradition so that was a fun thing to put in there and then another photo and journaling and this is another KB and Friends printable that I just journaled on. I feel like I've kind of simplified the process, but again, it's not really a creative journal. It's more of a scrapbook that's in the style of a junk journal. So, um, yeah, it does look similar to scrapbooking. Lots and lots of pictures. And then I took a photo sleeve and I um, stitched this washi tape on here um, so that I could punch a new hole in it and use it as a little, little pocket for more photos. Just a collage of photos. This is a poem that I really, really, really like. <clears throat> so I just kind of used the blank space. I could have written in the in the blank space um, also, but I just used it as a spot to put more photos. And then I used some stamps and another one of those appliques and a little crocheted flower here, you know, just to decorate it. So this makes it look a little junk journal-y, vintage-y. Um, I used an applique as a tab here and just wrote about first time at the beach and the pool and about this outfit. We move into like some food experiences and then this is kind of a funny one where she's had a blowout and then wrote about that and then <clears throat> excuse me this is also a KB and Friends printable and it was I printed it like on on the paper and I didn't cut it fully apart so I just folded it and made it like a little journaling card here and so this was a photo about <clears throat> how we had to take her to the hospital for something and then I wrote about it so just kind of a different way to create a journaling card this is a postcard and with all of her first so like when she walked and smiled and her first word favorite toys favorite foods um, that kind of thing and this is talking about her and her sister and all of those things and then all of these photos kind of go with 
with that, these are just pictures of her and her sister. Another KB and Friends printable. I just did some little decorations here. And then this is a little card that I put a picture on and then journaled about it in there. And another Halloween. This was her first Halloween and first Thanksgiving. I hope that this is helping somebody, somebody out there feel encouraged that it doesn't have to be super complicated and it doesn't have to be really detailed to kind of get your documenting in because it really, you know, something handmade, it, it looks so much, it ends up looking so much better. And well, I don't know if it looks better, but it, I think it will end up meaning a lot to have something handmade, especially by like a mom or a grandma with their perspective and their little um, creative touch and that kind of thing. I still need to stitch around this one and put it, put the photo down. But um, this was first Easter, first Mother's Day. This was Easter and this is my, or this is Easter. So let's see, I might have put that in the wrong spot. I think Mother's Day is on the back here, yeah. So this is Mother's Day and Father's Day. And then this is that same printable. I just made it bigger and did the 4th of July here. And then I just stitched two photos and put a little tab on it. And then I wrote on the back. Here's another one of those um, music pages. Did I finish? Yeah. Here I just put a um, playing card there. Yeah, I did do that. Okay. And so this was her first birthday, so that's where we're getting into. And just some more journaling. This was the cake, and I made her cake, so I wrote about that and about her party. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then those were her smash cake pictures. These are some of my favorite. And then this is just a little family tree, and this was just a little um, thing that they give you when you're nursing to, to kind of track all the wet diapers and feedings and all of that kind of thing. So hopefully, I hope you enjoyed watching this. Um, it is a little uncomfortable to do these things with your own personal <laughs> information and family and that kind of thing. So, um, let me know if you enjoy seeing these things because if nobody wants to see them anyway, then I, I, won't, I won't make the videos. Um, and let me know if you have any questions. I will be having before long some baby books come to my shop. Um, they're not quite finished yet. I often jump around from book to book because like I said, my attention, if I start feeling like I'm getting burned out on working on a series of journals, then I'll move on to a different, a different set and then work on those for a while and come back and kind of creates a huge mess in my area. But that's just kind of how I stay motivated and don't get burned out. Um, but anyway, that was a off topic. So I will have those and I have some like other little golden books and some, oh, some art journals coming and some Boy Scout, Girl Scout, kind of summer camping style. Lots of fun things coming. So I would love for you to leave me a comment and let me know if there's a type of um, junk journal you'd like to see me make or something you want me to show you how I do on the channel specifically. Um, anything like that. And of course, if you would like and subscribe, I would appreciate it as I'm trying to help grow my channel. So have a good day. Thank you for watching. Bye.